Hey, Geography 1302. I wanted to uh, take a second to kind of diagram out the notion of um, place and space and, and location. And I, I think this is uh, this kind of visual helps make it easier to, to see. So what I want to do is draw a distinction between, uh, literally, draw a distinction between uh, the notion of space, which is, let's call it, um, in models, in, in geography models, we kind of uh, lay them out on theoretical places or theoretical uh, contexts that are kind of a blank screen. For example, this, this white sheet of paper here is going to be the, the background for our theoretical model. And what I've drawn here is just a space. And in cultural geography, space is a, a notion, not, not outer space, but space is <clears throat> any given place on the earth that you can identify. It could be a, a room. It could be <clears throat> a plaza, a square. Uh, it could be part of your body. Um, space is just this theoretical area that something can go in. Now, to differentiate that, well, let me label this space. To differentiate that from uh, location, let me add something to it. Location is where this space actually sits. So if we are to, that's one of the other things geographers do, is they figure locations out. And if we were to take this and say this is a line of latitude right here and this is a line of longitude right here, then we could say that this, is, this space is at this particular location. Another way to look at it is this could be a road. Uh, this is some road and this is some road. And at the intersection of those two roads and these two roads is particular space and we'll call it space X. So location is where a particular space happens to be. Now, um, let me label that low location. Okay, um, let me add to this the notion of place. So we'll take, let me, let me draw this out kind of uh, like this. See if I can do this. Makes sense here. Okay, <clears throat> so can you can you see that? I have this box, sort of theoretical floating box above my space, and this box is what contains all of our cultural geography stuff um, that makes up place. So we have traces that we can put into our box. We have our trace chains, which maybe you could represent it by X, Y, Z happened, and it goes into this box. We could put in other characteristics. They could be, let's say, non-material uh, events could go in here. Material things could go in here material, um, you know, buildings and so on and so forth. And we could have those things that are non-representational. Just write non-rep, non-rep, non-representational. Those feelings and emotions could go in there. And when you take this box with all our stuff in it, all of our cultural geography stuff that humans uh, lay into the environment, and even non-humans, we, we have this notion of uh, environmental place or animals. Um, somebody in class, I think, mentioned uh, natural disasters, uh, fires, and Bastrop. You, you could throw that in here as well. That impacts place. And if you take all of this and you set it down into a space on the surface of the Earth, or it could be, again, on your body, or um, it could be in virtual space, if you, if you will, and put all of that in there, what we end up with is 
space in a place with a particular location. Now the context is everything that is sitting in here. All of this area, all of this stuff around it is the context. So you can think of this as uh, kind of the theoretical model. Let me get a good shot of that there. That's a theoretical model of place, space, and location with our traces, our culture, and the context all going into the bigger picture. Anyway, so I wanted to give that to you guys as kind of an example and uh, say that this is kind of a theoretical way of thinking of human cultural geography once again. And if you can hold all of that in, in your brain, then I think you're, you're pretty well on your way to mastering this sort of thing. So there you go, uh, lesson for the day, cultural geography diagram of place, space, and location, context. Traces and trace chains.